What's up everybody, back today to talk about hashtag horror, or pound symbol horror, whatever the hell you want to call it, I'm assuming it's hashtag horror. Directed by Tara Subkoff, uh, female director, actually pretty cool for a horror movie. But you know what, this movie sucks. Not super sucky, I understood what they were trying to do. It's her first film, uh, I thought it looked good, but that was about it. Let's get into a little bit. The story revolves around these young teenage girls, 12, I guess preteen girls or whatever, 12 year old girls. I've never been a 12 year old girl, so maybe I lost something in this. But uh, yeah, I could not relate the six little girls get together, they're rich, and you know, it focuses a lot on, you know, them on their cell phones, obviously with the hashtag horror, um, them posting stuff, and just the way they bully each other, and get on each other's nerves, but they're friends, and they, you know, I understand this stuff happens, I don't know if it happens to this extreme level, I'm sure in some cases it does, that's what this movie was trying to show, I don't know, I, I had a hard time relating to it, like I said, because it's all little girls, um, besides that, it kind of teases you that it's going to be a slasher at the beginning, but it never gets to it till the last 10 minutes of the freaking movie and it's damn annoying waiting for it. I was like, you know, we're an hour and 15 minutes into this. When's something going to happen? And then finally it rolls in and it's like over super quick. So obviously I didn't like it. Let me tell you a couple things I did like about it. I kind of thought the opening sequence, the title sequence was pretty freaking cool. That started to get old quick during the course of the movie because it would come up, you know, with like showing what they're doing on the cell phone. It was like a mix of Candy Crush and emojis and all this crap. So that part got kind of annoying quickly, but it did look cool in the title sequence. I was excited the first five minutes of this film, definitely. It just kept going too long with the character development and these girls picking on each other. And I understand they were brats, they were evil. I understand that. But then, you know, it takes you to the end of the movie and then you're like, man, they're killing 12 year old girls. And that's kind of uncomfortable. Obviously I didn't like a lot about this. Let me say one more good thing about this movie. The part when they are picking on each other, is uncomfortable and it's kind of like damn do girls really talk to each other like that man you know it's it, that was kind of cringeworthy that was probably actually the scariest part of the movie and i think that was what was intended the rest was just you know like a byproduct to make a movie let me get into the bad things it's a lot i could probably go on forever i made a few notes here uh timothy hutton's in this movie he's one of the girls dads horrible overacting just over 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 the top acting from him just too much unrealistic Unrealistic from all the adults in this movie. I It was almost surreal, and I guess that was supposed to way the kids see their parents as these sort of surreal, just people that are blah, and then, you know, they lived in these rich-ass house where all this cool-ass artwork was around it, but it was a little too much artwork, I think, for one house, kind of annoying. My biggest pet peeve was, like, literally nothing happens to the last 15 minutes. It, the rest of it is just girls picking on each other, and that got a little annoying. The first five minutes are good. And then you gotta wait another, you know, hour 15 or whatever till something happens. Last 10 minutes they just, bam, 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 everything's done. And it's like, ugh. At least they explained everything. And my last note is lame. Like I said, I'm not a 12 year old girl. I've never been a 12 year old girl. I hope, you know, to God that this isn't happening a lot. I know it does happen. Girls kill themselves. Do, girls do all kinds of stupid stuff because they're getting bullied online. All that junk. But, I don't know, I've just seen it done better. I liked Unfriended better, I liked, you know, some other movies that involved the internet, you know, the evil of the internet, so to speak, um, better than this one. This one was just too over the top, the girls were too over the top, the parents were too over the top, and it didn't go anywhere. The last 10 minutes you're like, meh, okay, whatever. Yes, that's who the killer is, that's whatever, but I wasn't even sure halfway through the movie if they were gonna have a killer, it was like, it was slightly confusing. So I'm only gonna give it two out of five stars, like I said. Just stay away, unless you're like a young girl, you might like it. But then at the same time, if you're an adult and you watch this, like, God, they're killing 12-year-old girls. Like I said, it's just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what the difference between a, killing a 12-year-old and, you know, killing an older teen girl is. Because, you know, that's what happens in most slasher films. But I was just like, they're so young. And they don't really get killed in graphic ways and stuff. But I don't know. I, that, that was just something that was kind of bugging me. Uh, overall, like I said, 2 out of 5, the movie's lame. If you've seen Hashtag Horror, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Was it over my head? Um, are you a teenage girl and you thought it was good? Do girls really talk to each other that way? Hopefully not all the time. I know it happens a little bit, but God, the world's in trouble if that happens a lot. So I'll see you next time with a video. Bye.